I'm Rich. I'm Othello. I'm Aaron. I'm John. And by our fandoms combined, we're Fandom United. And I stumbled there for a second because I, I forgot completely what we're going to talk about tonight. So, <laughs> <laughs> like, it's, I'm old. I'm old. <laughs> That's what that is. So, no, first thing we want to talk about, because poor Aaron has been dying to talk about the boys. The boys. <laughs> the PG version. Us. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's going to be so really remember, your hard kid is gonna to watch talk this. about this as PG as possible. Um, PG is... Oh, don't hold back, mm, my little just friend. You, you just... <sighs> well, well, you know if there are kids watching everything. Uh, yeah, I'm like, you know, yeah, obviously, obviously he okay. just came from confessional. <laughs> because he's wearing his choir boy outfit. I just came from so, church. Yeah, this so is my, just, my Sunday best. Yeah, so he's got a fresh spritz of the Jesus on him. He doesn't <laughs> want to mess that up. The Boys was what I really enjoy about adult comics. Uh, it it had a lot of it's creepy it, at all. <laughs> well, oh, not those kind of adult comics. Not, not he- those kind. Not not heavy metal. Not uh, it it tackled adult themes, but at the same time, it still kept it lighthearted. Like DC tried to go dark and tried to go adult, and it became depressing. The boys managed to go dark and go deep into that but still kept it kind of lighthearted <laughs> and fun and that was something i really enjoyed um i will say that i do not think that the boys would have had the success that they had same with like umbrella academy if it wasn't for what i call marvel fatigue because marvel has this very set formula for all of their movies and after a while, I'm still a fanboy. I will still watch probably every Marvel movie out there. Mm-hmm. But after a while, you just start looking for something different. And the boys kind of and I'm happy scratched you, that itch for me. I'm, I'm happy you mentioned DC. Because when you said that earlier before we started, I'm thinking, yeah, because they, 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 they also tried They also tried something different. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> they did it right with the Batman films. I, I don't they, think it's I don't the think Nolan it's so much... was the only thing that they did great on film. Right. Yeah. I uh, mean, yes, there is some superhero good, fatigue, but I don't but, think it's like the Marvel fatigue, like like you're thinking, because like you said, somebody tried something different. Warner Brothers tried something different. It didn't work. Right. So, and there also was Kick Ass. Um, I was once afraid. again. It didn't work. Yeah. Kick Ass. Super. Um. What was the one with the maintenance guy? That was the super. Super. The super. Yeah. The, super yeah. That didn't. That, just, that wasn't. That was. They, like, they weren't well done. Um. And and I, I like the way that that you said that too. And I would agree more with the fellow that I don't think that it's. I think that it. Okay, we have. Uh, anyway, we get people come in all the time. And say, don't you think that people are going to get sick of superhero movies? You know, this is almost done. I'm like, oh, it's not. It's not done. It's they've added a new genre of film, mm-hmm. right. just like romantic comedies, regular comedies, dramas. So you have these superhero films, fanboy films are a new thing, right? And that is that, that's going to stay because that's filling a niche that's always there's always been a need there. Yeah. But now people are getting it, so I don't think people will ever be like, another superhero movie. I'm not going to go. Unless it's just like one that they think is going to be really, really bad. So, I like that now we're getting a fuller palette of it. Okay, we've got this little niche. we got this little niche. We've got the big thing that you know Marvel keeps putting out. It's very formulaic. But they know what they're doing. Because they're making a lot of money every time they put one of those out. And, and they're, they're not going to vary away from that formula because the formula works. I, they might, know, I have a feeling they're dumb enough that they are going to vary away in this next I think phase. So. But if they were smart... They would keep putting out those same ones the same way that they keep putting well, out. And they those. are smart. But what's going to happen is they're going to deviate from their formula. They're going to be a little bit more political in this next round of films. And they're going to It'll go, backfire. Oh, that didn't make as much and money. And then they'll just go back to what they're doing. See, a lot of... So, a oh. lot, I, I think they will. Because I think Disney likes money. If it hits them love, in the pocketbook, they'll change their right, tune. They love that Marvel money. Right? So, Marvel has paid for itself... Several times over for whatever it was Disney paid to acquire them. No doubt. And I think that if they start losing money on films, they will bring back the rhetoric a little bit. And they'll be like, eh, let's change this a little bit. Let's let's go a different direction because we're losing money. We're not getting these people who are doing the repeat viewings or we're not getting as many people out there. At least that's what I have. My stint in corporate world... Though, the people that 
or the top in those companies are so disconnected sometimes that they don't listen to what people logically can say, hey, this is what the problem is. Like, no, 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 we think it's this. And just watching what they did with the Star Wars franchise. Oh, I thought you were talking about the time you worked at Warner Brothers, because that's what it sounded like you were talking about. No, when I worked for, I I worked for Volvo for, you know, a few years and uh, another, you know, rental company before that, and just watched them come in and take very successful companies and then run them into the ground to the point that they took them out of the top market and completely killed it to mm-hmm. a, that division ended up closing. They they bought their competition and then just destroyed it. And Instead now they're saying, owned by some Chinese conglomerate, but yeah. whatever. I just, I, I would hate to see that be the way that they interpret this stuff at I, I Disney. I don't think that'll be the way it goes. I, I, I hope that. Kathleen that's... Kennedy still has a, a she does. revered position that she does, probably but... should have been relieved a few films ago. Yeah, but she's not printing Marvel money. <laughs> uh, but Let's, they should. It's Star Wars. They should have been. They should have been. I agree. They should have. They should have been like. It should have been a constant. Hey, which one's gonna make more money first this year? Star Wars or Marvel? And it's not. It's like. And it, and it might get to that. It's flipped. It's it flipped. might get to that yeah, though. It's flipped. Marvel yeah. is definitely. Stuck. Oh, def- yeah. Oh no, Marvel definitely. What my you know, feeling they get is to... with it, it feels like they rush Star Wars out. They rush these scripts. It's like almost like they really didn't have a complete game plan. Almost. No, that's what the problem was. That the, the, Kathleen Kennedy is not and never will be Kevin Feige. Mm-hmm. Kevin Feige is the reason why the the MCU is the machine that it is. That dude, he knew how to one he he vetted directors, which mm-hmm. was probably the most important thing, and he had an overall game plan of this is where the story's going. Ten years down the road, if we're still doing this, this is where I want it heading. Star Wars, watch, you know, 7, 8, and upcoming 9, and you can see they did not lay out any kind of game plan of it. And, um, you know, Kathleen Kennedy was more like, hey, no, they jumped you in make and said, movies, I'm going to give you a trilogy because I like you. Yeah. You want to make a trilogy for us? And people are like, yeah. And then, oh, hey, a couple months later, yeah, we had to let those guys go. We're not actually going to do that story that we were going to do with them. And they fired probably as many directors as they hired. I can't well, wait. I can't wait to go back and watch this and see how we went from talking about the boys. Like I, I know, just right? want to see where we took that left turn. Where did, like, where did we do it? Grim and Gritty comic books. Star Wars. <laughs> Kathleen Kennedy sucks. And I don't know how we got there. I'm just trying to remember. We'll just put a pin in this. Let's get back to Aaron talking about the boys. <laughs> No, I'm just there, trying to remember where we took the turn. I just think it's hilarious. It was probably right around here. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's on me. Like right around Sorry. Here. Well, I the thing is with the boys, there's not a whole lot I can talk about without getting you know into what? a territory that I gotta like tiptoe around. I can't wait for next week because hopefully Jelly will be able to come back next week because she's been watching the boys. Because the texts I get from Jelly are hilarious. And I can tell what episode she's on by who she says who got killed or, like, why they died. Or, oh, my God, what's going on? Or this happened. Oh, I love this show. Or, oh, my God, I like this person. Why did they just kill them? And it makes me laugh because I can tell where she is in her in her watching. Uh-huh. And she's really into the show. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> I just I cannot wait to see Jelly fighting with her internal filter. As she tries to talk about the boys. No, I am really looking forward to that. If you read the text, it should just be a text read of the boys. I'm sure they're probably cleaner than us explaining. Yeah, <laughs> what I the can't boys. even. But, I mean, talking about cleaner, the, the boys, the show is. They're already producing season two. Far and away cleaner than the books, though. Far and ah. away cleaner than the books. Not even, not even loose. To the, the books are so. I, I, I wouldn't even, like, check one out from the library what? and accidentally have it leaving around my house. Like, I'd be scared <laughs> when my kids are going to Because that is... Were, like, the, were the comics pre... Murder porn, Pre-PC yes. America? Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, it, the comics were 2006 to 2012. So, yeah. Yeah, I guess they were 2006 to 2012. Okay. And... That probably explains quite a bit of it. I mean, you know, the Scott... The Scotsman who, who writes it just doesn't care. Right. And... And... It, it's it's very 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 watered down from the books the show is very watered down from the books and and still I wouldn't let my kids 
watch the show, obviously. Um, so if that gives you any indication of just how much worse the books are, I mean, the books are murder porn. I mean, it's, I, it's, it's, it's everything you, you could, man, wow. I was a big fan of how they killed off Translucent. That was I would, funny. <laughs> it, it was funny. Creative. <laughs> I'm I'm really hoping that they go into so in the books they deal with the X Men in uh, one series they're called the G Men because okay. they're the doctors professor something with a G and there's all the different teams and there's G Wiz and the G Men and G Force and it is it is hilarious how they deal with it in the books um, I, I can't even I can't even say I can't even tell you about it because I just. I just can't. Maybe I'll, I'll tell you off camera. Camping Kendi is the worst. But yeah. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Blame it on her. Okay. Uh, no, I do know that season two, they're already in production. Mm-hmm. Season two, I don't remember the character's name, but it's going to be the Nazi uh, supervillain, and she, um, he's going to be a she. Not Homelander. Yeah. Um, I can't. Um, is it Blitz? Is it Captain Blitzkrieg or something like that? What is his name? I can't remember his name. I remember the suit. I can see him in my brain. From the comic, but yeah, it'll be interesting to see her, uh, that character now, uh, she, which doesn't matter. It'll be very interesting to see uh, that on screen um, and and see how that plays out. I am looking forward to the second season because they've changed it enough from the comic book that they have kept me guessing. And that's really hard to do with a comic book property is Mm -hmm. to keep me guessing. So... Now, say you put Umbrella Academy and the boys out at the exact same time. I'm watching the Umbrella Which, Academy first. Okay. Not even, yeah. Same for you? Yeah. Umbrella Academy? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The Umbrella bo- Academy did something for me that yeah. comic book movies have not, like, it's like, oh, what? This yeah. is this is This is good. I really like it. It's I, I couldn't consume it fast enough. It was like one of those things that um, I, I watch a lot of YouTube. And a lot of, like, informational stuff, you know, it'd be boring stuff for most people. But a lot of times I'll put it on half speed so I can listen to it twice as fast, you know. So okay. I'm not, like, you know, wasting four hours on it. I can do it in two hours. <laughs> you know, I'm listening it sounds like chipmunks, but... Nope, I cannot. I can I consume do that. it. Yeah, I cannot it, do that. It just depends on what it is. I, I can't do it for <clears> everything. <throat> and I remember, like, sitting there watching Umbrella Academy and, like, okay, I really want to savor this. But I want to get through it and get back and start it over again to, like, watch it again for the stuff that I missed. And I, I remember just thinking, like, I wish I could watch this at, like, you know, quarter speed. You know, or, you know, like, did you, uh, one did fourth you watch la- Did you watch Lost in Space in, like, double speed? Did you? No, I, I, don't, I watched that, okay, like, multiple cause... times. Like, Danger, Will Robinson, danger! <laughs> <laughs> I just thought that would be hilarious for the robot. I'm ready funny. for them to announce something on that, too. Yeah, well, the next is... season has been... They're doing another season. I know. I think been... they started filming in September. They haven't announced a date, though. That's it's what been, it's going to be 2020. It's been a year. It's, 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 it's going to be 2020. It's not going to be 2020. Oh, definitely. definitely. It's going to be 2020. Uh, isn't the new season... I know we... We're going all over the place. Yeah, we are. We're ping ponging uh, around, but that's fine. That's the what, new season of Lost in Space is essentially where they're at now is where they were in the, the old show. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Which, and apparently, uh, just just a little bit, they're trying to find ways to get the other surviving cast members of the original show nice. to work them into the show like they did Bill Mooney. Mm. Huh. Because, I and I'm, I'm such a dork, I didn't realize that he was in it. Until I started rewatching it this last week. Really? Yeah. Did you Did you realize who? So uh, on the ship on the Resolute, when they're crashing and uh, Doctor Smith is the gets guy that jacket, the, the yeah. guy that she takes the jacket from, the Doctor Smith. That's Bill Mooney. That's the original Will Robinson. That's awesome. I did not know that. Yeah. And so they're going to try to work the other cast that's still left in, and apparently they're still going to be with the Resolute somehow. And so I'm I'm really jazzed about that season because i love that show it was so well written so well written so well done so well acted and it's something that i can enjoy with my kids unlike the boys or even eh, the umbrella academy i could probably watch you with yeah, could you I let your kids watch, watch the umbrella academy i'm trying to remember if i did or not i don't there wasn't, think i did 
There wasn't enough stuff in Umbrella Academy it that was, I recall that would have been like, oh, I shouldn't have that's let the them other watch one that, that. That's the other one I'm. There was a lot in the boys yeah. are like it lulled me into this false no. sense of security. There where, was never okay, any false not, sense of security in no, the boys from the very first time the, the show first started. Scene. <laughs> no, yeah. it seemed it seemed okay. There was like. I was not. No, ex- my man is standing there holding his girlfriend's mm-hmm. hands because A Train just ran through her. There this is were like the some first episodes scene. where it wasn't like that far out. Uh, the one where he was doing the drugs uh, to run faster. The there wasn't a whole lot of stuff in that one that I would have. Other liked. than the copious drug use yeah. and the super. He steroids. does it super fast. You never even know he's doing oh, he it. He sticks his girlfriend Jeez. with a bunch of needles. Was that at the beginning of that? Episode? Yes. Oh, no, that, that was at the end. No, of the that, no, was, that was like no, that was six like half, that was like six or seven yeah. halfway through. Okay. There were so, a couple safe episodes. You know, episodes. spoilers from John if you I'm haven't sorry. seen that <laughs> part my yet. Bad, my bad. But like, <laughs> when, <laughs> like when they go into the club, I think it was in like the first episode. Uh, as soon as they enter the club and you see the people swinging from the yeah, there's yeah, that's not a that's not a Disney moment. <laughs> There ain't he's nothing. Like, he's like, but the episode wasn't that bad. It w- I wasn't expecting it to go there. I just have to cover my son's there. eyes for like 10 minutes. I wasn't <laughs> expecting it to no, go there. Bro. No. 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 Yeah, I think there. No, I didn't let him watch it at all. But I just was. There was times where. I think where... you're going to lose your position on the Parents Review Movie Council or whatever. <laughs> you, just, you just came from the meeting. The only part out. that I even like considered letting him watch was the dolphin. Okay, the dolphin part was funny. Yeah. Everything else, I never <laughs> let him anywhere else near. <laughs> Dad, I want to watch the rest. And then the truck, He's like, go back to your room, son. Dad, I want to uh, watch the rest. No. No. <laughs> no, I stayed up late. It was like 2 in the morning, and I'm sitting there watching the boys, because I'm like, I don't want I don't want to take the chance of anybody waking up and walking out. No, that's what I, I did. Yeah, I, I waited until everyone was yeah. asleep, and it was like 11 o'clock. It's like, all right. And I have a large TV, and it's like facing the hallway where everybody would walk down, so it's just kind of like, there ain't no hiding that. Right, there is no pausing that real quick. Oh, you didn't see it. Oh, you saw it. <laughs> yeah, you saw, you saw it in four K. You saw. <laughs> you saw hair follicles. Like you saw everything. Right. You saw goosebumps. The whole bit. You, no, there's no hiding <laughs> that. So yeah, no, I can't. I can't mess with that. Um, so you were asking what what you would watch first. The Umbrella Academy to me is like a fine meal. Like it's something just super delicious. You go to a restaurant and you eat a great meal. The boys is is candy and dessert it is complete junk food <laughs> it is like, okay. see now it's a greasy burger like i would, okay, I would a good greasy burger but i would rather have that really great meal yeah. prepared by a one of the world's greatest chefs in the umbrella and academy it, and then i'll go eat that then i'll go eat white castle yeah, so, it was, so, so it's like it's like going to roof chris <laughs> yeah and, and then, then going to white castle after i mean hey i love a sack of whiteies i'm just saying if, if you connect it in that way too You'll eat a fine meal at like seven o'clock at night. And then you'll when you're eat hungry, a greasy again, burger at two o'clock yeah. in the morning. I'm hungry. I don't know why we started talking about food all of a sudden. So okay, I, I am nervous though about season two of uh, Umbrella Academy. I wouldn't be. Well, when they just go, because I'm I've like, been wanting to see him as kids the whole time, man. I, well, well, no, I, I, I'm, I'm cool with it, but I'm just like, if it, like, if it, if the tone shifts or anything changes. Where they're like, hey, we're, we're going to try this. I'm, I'm nervous about that. Like, you know, like, like not you being as same. good as... Yeah. I'm sorry. Just didn't mean to jump over you. So you, so you. so you like, you need the same showrunner. You want the same directors. Because that's usually where the shifts change. In yeah. Showrunners, yeah. yeah. Usually, or, you know, some suits say, hey, you know, instead of this, what if you did that? Okay, but here's... But, that's, you know, I'm not worried about that as much as I'm worried about Netflix canceling it. Oh, my God. Because... They, ne- they, wouldn't, do they wouldn't do that. Yes, they, they would. wouldn't do that. Yes, they would. Netflix has been canceling stuff left and right. People like they just canceled the OA. Now it's a show I've never watched, but apparently it's a very vocal and rabid fan base. And if you go on the Twitters, which I all strongly warn you against because Twitter's the dumpster fire of the internet. <laughs> there, um, Netflix put out something today. Oh, it was, was a, a scene from Friends, <laughs> which was stupid of Netflix to put out, but it was a scene from Friends where. Uh, Rachel, I, I should really watch the show. I love Rachel, um, Jennifer Aniston, yeah. ruins the ending of Little Women for Joey because he ruined something. Uh, that was uh, The Shining. Yeah. The, uh, 
see, I just, well, I cannot, that show just doesn't retain in my brain. It doesn't retain in my brain either. So it was dumb of them, number I one, to use this because <laughs> they're losing the show <laughs> yeah. at the end of this yeah. year because NBC Universal is taking that show yeah. back for their, and The Office, for their uh, streaming service. So it was dumb of them to use that, number one. Number two, all the comments, every single one, nobody commented about the show. Nobody. Every single one was about save the OA. The OA is real. It's like, oh, don't you hate it when somebody ruins the ending for you? And somebody's like, oh, kind of like seeing the OA get canceled after a cliffhanger ending. Da, da, da. And every, like, it was like over a thousand tweets and they were all about the OA. Which way do you point this gun? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was just like, oh, cringe. So Netflix is, is, they have a bad habit of canceling stuff too early. Uh huh. And that's what worries me with a lot of these streaming platforms is they have a habit now of canceling things too early and you get three seasons of a decent show and that's it. They let Voltron ride for like eight seasons. No, 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 no. No. Half seasons. Yeah, those were half seasons. So really technically just four seasons. And it was was three years that they spit out eight seasons. Yeah. Uh, Yeah. I I wouldn't, I wouldn't put Voltron in that because all they did was split up the seasons. Yeah. You know I like I mean? that. So, it, I, I liked. I was good with it. Too. It kept you. It, if it kept you, you give it to me every of, few months as opposed yeah. to one lump, I'm okay with that. Mm-hmm. So that's my concern: is getting into shows on something like a Netflix and it's really good, but then the rug gets yanked out from under. The upside yeah. is with so many streaming services out there, it's like, oh well, they canceled it. Well, we just heard that you guys really loved it. We'll pick it up, and then that's gonna be the next thing. Yeah. Speaking of streaming services, real quick, because you're talking about Kathleen Kennedy. And I know last week we were talking about the CBS. That made me think of CBS. It made me Star Wars. Made me think of Star Trek. The CBS Viacom uh, deal went through, so that was like eleven billion dollars. And so now they're merging into Viacom CBS. I think is what they're going to call it. So CBS now they have CBS All Access. Viacom is going to roll their stuff in. MTV, BET, all those other channels that Viacom has, plus the Paramount Movie Studios uh, backlog or catalog. Mission Impossible and Star Trek are now, once again, under one roof as opposed to being split between two entities. So that's going to be huge because they're going to have their own streaming service. Uh, Comcast is getting ready to launch an NBC Universal streaming service. Um, AT&T is launching the Warner Media streaming service with HBO and all the TNT, TBS, and all the other different channels that they own. Disney Plus with Hulu and ESPN Plus, plus Netflix, plus Amazon. It's like... Man, I, it's almost too much. It, no, it is too it many is too streaming much. services. Yeah. And th- what I was bringing you, that up for... If you wanted to get all of that stuff, you're going to end up paying more than what you would pay, pay for, for cable. cable. Mm-hmm. Cable operators tried to warn people about that, but everybody didn't want to listen. But, so now you have somebody who's in charge of Star Trek, because they now have a Star Trek global group or whatever that has their own offices... That are in charge of all of Star Trek. And so, well, first it was television Star Trek. Now he'll probably be over all of it. And it's this guy named Alex Kurtzman. Alex Kurtzman is not a big favorite in a lot of the community right now. Kind of like Kathleen Kennedy and for some of the same reasons. What is going to happen now with these properties if these things start failing? I, will they just keep riding them down into the dirt? Star Trek is already hurting in, in my eyes, they think that they say that it's doing better because of Discovery and the Picard show is very hyped. A lot of people are looking forward to that. And if they give me a Captain Pike show, I'm all in. I'll I'll shut up and leave them alone because <laughs> that was the best part of Discovery season two. <clears throat> if anybody watched it, that was by far better than. It's sad when you have guest stars come on and you 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 put it out there ahead of the season and say this is just for this one season. These guys aren't going to stick around. And then these two guys come on the show and outshine all of your cast members in every scene that they're in. And one of these guys just came off a show where he didn't even talk, (laughs) which was doo-doo. And the chick had a CGI wig. (laughs) Like Marvel's biggest failure ever. Like, Ghost Rider the movie was better than the Inhumans TV show. Yeah, I said it. I don't care. (laughs) (laughs) And he outshone everybody on Discovery. That when the the season was over, everybody was like, okay, cool. Um, Does that mean we're getting a Captain Pike show? They didn't care about Discovery. They didn't care about the time jump. 
They didn't care about any of that. Canon, blah, blah, blah. They wanted to see Captain Pike, Spock on this beautiful Enterprise set that they built. They were like, I want to see that. I don't care about anything about these other guys. What happened to them over there that are still in the past? CBS is sitting on a gold mine and they need to tap into it. Will they be smart enough to do it? I don't mm. know. I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. First off. I knew you were waiting. That's why I said, yeah. It brings such joy to me. Oh, here we go. When I hear you make a statement like, I'm so done with Star Trek. I'm done. I'm out. I'm not. I'm uh, out. There's yeah. nothing. Nothing they can do. I knew he was Discovery going what? I knew he was do it. I knew Streaming service? It. Okay, yeah, I'm in. Oh my god, they suck. I am so out. And, and then I'm glad that they got something that they're, they're pulling you back in with. Something that they've got a glimmer of hope of excitement for. Maybe. That, that does me good. You see, you thought that was going a different direction. Mm. I'm actually happy. You're so <laughs> full of crap. <laughs> no, <laughs> I love seeing you use your words. I mean, even, no, I love just, seeing you. <laughs> sprinkling that salt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sprinkling it all over the place. I'm not taking the bait. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not taking the bait. I see it. That's all right. <laughs> I'm gonna hit you in the head with a brick. When the <laughs> camera's off. <though. laughs> like I'm not <laughs> right, right there, <laughs> right there. I'm done. Hey. No, I get it. And you know, and I was, I was with you. And, you know, Kathleen Kennedy's gonna play Mara Jade, so you know, get ready for that. <laughs> Her and Luke. It's funny that you two became friends because you're obviously like Star Trek, and you're obviously Star Wars. Well, if anybody's ever come into the store, they realize that the party shuttle that he built is a Star Trek ship. There is no ship in Star Trek, uh, Star Wars. That is not true. That looks like that. That is a Star Trek ship. That is. <laughs> it is. It is very. It is. Inspired. A, yeah, it, it is, is very inspired, inspired by. Yeah. It's a, it's exactly. a, yeah, we have it's a forty a foot by twenty foot spaceship. In my it's store, a yin and so. yang relationship. Yeah, no, because I love Star Wars too. I mean, if there was one show, somebody said there's one genre show coming out that you can watch this year. What is it going to be? The Mandalorian. Yeah, I'm done. Down. Done. On that Nothing whole d- divide from Star Trek Star Wars, for me, I, I I always I always heard about that rivalry, um, but I never cared. I'm like, okay, you like that? I like this. Yeah. I like this for different reasons. I like the fantasy of it mm. versus. The science, but I always respected the science side of Star Trek. Um, uh, they, you know, th- there were so many things that were introduced on the original Star Trek that later became part of like our computer life and mm-hmm. all that stuff. Anyway, um, it is it's funny. I actually saw a clip of uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson, who I'm not a huge fan of, on uh, uh, Conan. Aaron's got to go uh, and turn off yeah. the timer because we're running. Really quick on time. Is it going to catch it, ladies and gentlemen? I oh, yes! yes! Yay! But um, <laughs> it was probably a couple years ago where Neil got a bunch of um, flack from people. He was asked, you know, who would win between the Enterprise and the Millennium Falcon. And he said, you know, the Enterprise would, that's stupid. you know. Yeah, that's a dumb question. That is a stupid question. Me being a Star Wars person <laughs> knows... The Enterprise would the Enterprise just, like, huge. destroy the yeah. Falcon. It's, dumb. it's It's not even an eighth of the size of the, the, the Enterprise. That's a stupid question. It's, Maybe the Enterprise versus a Star Destroyer. Let's let's go with that. Okay, now you're talking about an interesting yeah. battle. But, eh. So, yeah. yeah. And I never thought that me and Neil would have anything that we agreed on. But, you know, I found something. So, there's that. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and on that bombshell, I think we're going to end this week's episode because... We talked about everything. We talked about we didn't everything. Even, we didn't even get a chance to talk to John about wrestling because he just saw SummerSlam this weekend. And we didn't even get a chance to get to it. So maybe we'll get into it next week. And maybe Jelly will be here and we can laugh at her reactions to the boys. And maybe she and John can discuss the merits of sumo versus pro wrestling because that's a fight I would like to see. Yeah. So until then, remember, tell them F you. Good night, everybody.